Hey, welcome in. My name is DJ Hoppe from the DJCoach.com. We're excited that you are here. We are breaking down the DJ Control Impulse T7, which is in front of me in this series on the DJ Academy. And one of the things that I want to cover today is a concept called stems. Now, stems is really awesome. It's the thing that I wish were here for the last 20 something years and it's something that we've always wanted as DJs is the ability to separate the acapella and the instrumental instantly. But even more than that, what Stems is actually doing is not only can I separate the acapella and the instrumental, but within the instruments, I can separate out the drums, the bass, and the melody with the touch of a button. I know, it's crazy. So. We're going to focus on using stems inside of the Juice software that works seamlessly with the DJ Control Impulse T7. Let's jump in. The first thing you need to know is that stems actually does require a fast enough computer, a powerful enough computer. So whether you're on a PC or a Mac, make sure to check the recommended specs. So you'll see for a Windows computer, it, it, these are the specs. I mean, the biggest thing is RAM, having enough RAM. Uh, to be able to process what is happening live by separating out the stems. So, um, and then same thing with the Mac uh, system. And so, you know, all these computers are not created equal. I've he heard various rumors that are just completely not true where it's like, oh, well, PCs are better or Macs are better for DJing. It's like, not necessarily. I mean, it really depends on the device that you're using. And so, especially when it comes to stems, and using this, it's going to be important for you to have a strong enough computer. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not something where I'm saying you have to go out and buy a brand new computer in order to use stems. Maybe it's possible. It's possible that you might need a stronger computer. However, there's a really great feature inside of Juice that allows you to turn off stems. So you can turn on stems or turn off stems. So if your computer is maybe a bit older and you're not in the market right now for a newer, faster, stronger computer, just turn off stems. Either way, keep watching this video because this is really great to know how this all works should you get a computer that is more powerful and stronger and you want to jump in and utilize the technology. All right, so let's go back in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top right-hand corner, and there's a little widget there for settings. We'll click on settings. We go down to general. In the general area at the very bottom, it says stems. Stems activation, I have yes up. By the way, just for reference, I'm running a MacBook Air M1. Uh, it's the M1 chip, um, and it's performing just fine with stems so far. So, so far, all good. Um, I would typically use a different computer um, to be able to run stems. So I usually would perform with a gaming PC, like a gaming laptop. Uh, that has 16 gigs of RAM. Um, but this is working just fine on my MacBook Air, uh, here in studio at least. Um, okay, so uh, control stems with slicer. I don't actually need this because the T7 has a dedicated space for that. In fact, you can see that right here. There's a button. Uh, so if I switch the mode to stems, now it's controlling the stems. So if I didn't have that, though, I could replace the slicer button with uh, stems. And that would be for a different controller. So if you had like an older Hercules controller that had a slicer button, you could replace that there. Let's see. All right. Analyze stems on load. I have this checked to no. Um, that way I, it's not analyzing every song stems. Um, I don't need stems for every song either. It's really fun uh, to be able to use the stems, and you'll see here in a minute when I do it. But it's not necessary with a lot of the tracks that I'm actually mixing. So I don't necessarily want this to put that extra load on my computer. So I set that to no. And then performance, I just have it at mid. But you could turn this to high performance or low performance. And basically, that would uh, tell Juiced how much of your computer's resources you want to dedicate to stems. So I'm leaving this on mid. And like I said, so far, so good. So here we go. Back to the uh, software itself. And by the way, the stems technology is happening within the software. So it's happening within Juiced. And again, today we're using the T7, but you could be using another controller and still be using stems inside of Juiced. So um, if I switch over to from Hotkey to stems, and I do that here inside of the software, this is how I would do that here. And now I've got my four pads that will each control stems. Now, um, what I'm going to show you here on the deck is the same. So right now, if I switch over to stems, then I get these four slots. 
So let's go ahead and split this so you can see what it is that we're doing here. And I'm going to go ahead and play. Let's go ahead and right now let's isolate the ball. Pretty crazy, right? Add just the drums back. Baseline comes in. Add the melody back. Take the, uh, take the vocal out. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. Now, there's also two buttons down here that are instrumental or vocal. So I can switch to instrumental. Hit it again to, to go back. Basically, that's touching all of you. Crazy. Crazy. Technology is crazy. So what can I do with this? Well, I could be able to create a live mashup or a remix pretty easily here because I'm able to isolate the acapella. So by isolating the acapella, I could bring in another track. So let's say. So, this will allow not only for being able to create a mashup, a live mashup, but also to be able to help me with my mixing. So, I just gave you an example here where I brought in an 8-bar intro underneath it. I wasn't planning on doing that that demo, and I was, wasn't even set right on the... Uh, on the BPM and changed it live, which you could see that. You could see how you could do that, right? And so um, by doing this, though, it allowed me to get rid of the music that might clash. Uh, we have another lesson inside the DJ Academy where we're talking about using the EQ and the fact that we would have double of everything on both tracks when we play two tracks on top of each other. So we have double the low, double the mid, double the high. Well, sort of more specifically, we've got double the drums, double the bass, double the melody, double the vocals potentially in this. Uh, we obviously don't want to mix vocals over vocals. But in this case, what I could now do with stems is it almost allows me to DJ without using the EQ as much because I could take out the drums uh, without taking out the low. I can just take out the drums, which is actually better in some ways. It's cleaner. So in this mix, I took out the, I took everything out except for the vocal, and then the track that was coming in basically was instrumental. It didn't have any vocals on it, so it had all the other pieces. And this is a way to sort of get this mix to be smoother, and that's really one of the purposes of stems is to be able to get smoother mixing done by isolating different parts and eliminating different parts. So I do want to give you a, something else that's a little bit more, I guess, a little bit more technical here, which is. Um, when I've loaded up this other track and I go to stems, you'll notice that these are red. Right now, there's a little red dot in the lower right hand corner, which means that the stems aren't ready yet. So, as I'm doing this, they're not ready. And there's a little progress bar. Now, now it turned blue. Now it means it's ready. So that took, I don't know, probably 20 seconds or so to analyze. It took about, you know, 20 seconds or so to analyze, and you'll notice that when the stems are ready, they'll turn blue like that. Now, this is really important to note. Just because I've analyzed this now, that I've analyzed the stems now, if I close out Juiced and I open Juiced up again, like tomorrow or the next time I play, and I think, oh, now I don't have to analyze stems anymore, that's not right. Within Juiced, it's going to need to analyze the stems live every time. So it does take, that's one of the reasons why there's this bit of a warning here where it's like make sure that your computer is fast enough and powerful enough to be able to analyze stems because it's going to do it live every time as you load the track um, with every session, with every session at least. So you cannot uh, pre-analyze stems at this current time of making this video. Now, I know that the team is working on that and that as that becomes more available, you'll notice that. And it's only going to make the, the uh, experience even better. But even now, even now, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I loaded that. I hit stems. It started to work. 
Uh, and it took about 20 seconds or so. By the time we got to the drop, it was ready to go. So that wasn't, that wasn't too bad at all. You know, and now the stems are ready to go and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So um, in this mode, you'll notice that the top four buttons are used for um, isolating the stems. And then I've also got instrumental and vocal that I can isolate. White means it's on. This is another thing. Make sure when you're using stems that you remember to bring things back. So, so this has happened to me for sure where I'm like taking things out and then I don't bring them back. And I mix something in and I'm like, oh, why does it sound like it's missing? It's the same thing that happens with the EQ or the filter sometimes where you take out the low or you, you know, low pass filter on the, uh, on the track and you bring the next track in and the filter is still down. Now, with stems though, that is still a per track thing. So the only time that would happen is if I wanted to mix the track back in again. Um, I do want to show you one more thing though since we're here, which is kind of a cool feature. Just inside of Juice and it's sort of related to stems, but not necessarily. So I'm going to show you if I switch over to the new one. So what I did is I isolated the vocal and now I've got this loop roll. So if I had a track running on the other side. So you can see you can do a lot and you can have a, a ton of fun. This is loop roll essentially, which is on the second um, the second tab over. So I've got hot cue and then loop roll, um, which is labeled as loop two on the T7. It allows me to do that. And you can see on the actual software that it's changing between my hot cues and my loop roll um, and then also my stems. And again, just remember that this is what you keep on and off. And that's what I meant by like, them not remembering to bring the stems back in. So make sure that you reactivate the stems if you've turned them off, if you want them back on. Well, there you have it. There's a lot that we could do with stems. The fact that this is here, the fact that this technology exists is so crazy. I, for one, think that this is going to completely change the way that we play as DJs. Um, it allows for so much more creativity. I highly encourage you to jump into stems. Um, it is worth upgrading your computer likely, I mean, I don't know your situation, but to be able to have access to stems and to be able to separate out acapellas from tracks that you've always wanted an acapella for, but you could never find the actual acapella, this is so awesome. Like you could make it yourself. And this will just allow for so many different ways to express the ideas that you have in your head. So I highly encourage it. Um, thank you for watching this. By the way, for those of you who own the DJ Control Impulse T7 and you want to jump into a full course, we actually have free access to a course all about using the DJ Control Impulse T7. It's our DJ challenge. It's available on the DJcoach.com. Please make sure to go over there and check that out. It's going to be awesome. You're putting together a mix and you're able to get feedback for that mix and everything. So head on over there. There's a link below on the video. If not, and you want to do it, or not even if not, this shouldn't even be an or, it should be an and. You should go and do that, and you should watch more of these DJ Academy videos because we've got the entire series here on the T7 and other, other Hercules gear as well. There's a ton of tips and tricks. So make sure you soak it all in. I'll see you on the next one.